that just mentally people will have a hard time. Like, well, I can't afford a million dollars or $2 million. Well, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy one 100 millionth, a single Satoshi. You can buy 10 Satoshis, 20 Satoshis. And ultimately, I think the Satoshi will be the unit of measure when we get to, I see the book behind you, when we get to the Bitcoin standard. Now, in the video that we have for you today, Mark Yuso discusses his forecast regarding the adoption curve of cryptocurrency and his ability to achieve in order to demonstrate to billions of people the significance of establishing a network of reliable sources and remaining up to date on the latest tools and technologies. Let's jump right into the video without wasting any time. So 2.1 quadrillion is the number of Satoshis that exist in the world. So they're 21 million Bitcoin. Each Bitcoin can be subdivided into 100 million parts, Satoshis. And so there are 2.1 quadrillion, it's a big number, lots of zeros, uh, individual units. And you know, one of the things that I think will eventually happen is the price of Bitcoin will become so large that just mentally people will have a hard time. Like, well, I can't afford a million dollars or $2 million. Well, you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy one 100 millionth, a single Satoshi. You can buy 10 Satoshis, 20 Satoshis. And ultimately, I think the Satoshi will be the unit of measure when we get to, I see the book behind you, when we get to the Bitcoin standard, meaning that Bitcoin is a better form of money what is money? Money is an asset that exists in the absence of a liability. It's only one in the whole world. That's gold. Everything else sits on top of gold in the monetary system, which is currency. Currency is what we use as a medium of exchange, belief, custom, and nation states issue it backed by debt. But gold doesn't have debt associated with it. And gold is ultimately being displaced by Bitcoin, this better technology, this better form of money. Well, what makes it better? Well, it's equally scarce, meaning the amount that exists relative to the new flow. If you think about gold, the reason it's been so great for so long, a single ounce of gold is still a single ounce of gold. It doesn't change. It's an inert metal. And what's more important is the value of that gold has held its value for about 5,000 years. You can go back to Cleopatra's time, exchange your ounce of gold, you get a fine person's suit. You go to the, the medieval days, you get a suit of armor. You go in the 1920s, you get a zoot suit. You go to Savile Row today, you get a fine person's suit. And so, but why isn't gold then gonna go on forever? Well, gold suffers from two defects. One, Let's say I had a bar of gold under my desk, which I, I don't. Like if I was Kyle Bass, I actually would, but I, I don't. If I had a bar of gold, and look, I, I think I'm a reasonably fit guy, but I, I could not break that bar of gold. But let's say I could. Let's say I could divide that gold in half. It'd be really hard to get it precisely in half. I couldn't stuff it in the computer and send it to you, Kelly. So here's the thing. All the Bitcoin in the world fits right here. Now I don't have any on my phone. Don't SIM swap me. I don't keep it on my phone. I keep it in cold storage. So you can't steal it. But if I had any amount on the phone with a couple of clicks, I could send it to you. Now that's interesting because I don't need a bank account. You don't need a bank account. We don't have to pay fees for a wire transfer. So Bitcoin is more portable, more divisible, and importantly, the scarcity, the amount of stock relative to the flow. So in gold, the amount of new gold that's produced every year roughly equals the amount that's used up in industrial uses or lost or stolen. So the stock to flow ratio is very high. That makes an asset scarce. Think about collectible Porsches, right? There aren't very many 
old Porsches. Why? They call it the dentist wrap phenomenon, which is not very kind, but but true. Yeah. Dentist buys Porsche. No one tells said dentist that you can't accelerate and turn the wheel at the same time. The wheel has to be straight if you're going to accelerate. Otherwise, you wrap around the tree, hence the dentist wrap phenomenon, end of Porsche. So all the Porsches get destroyed. A few become scarce. The stock relative to the flow, very high. Same thing with Bitcoin. The amount of new Bitcoin that's produced is decreasing. The amount that's lost or stolen is relatively consistent. So the stock relative to the flow, as of this having in three weeks, will actually be higher than gold. So it'll be more scarce than gold, more divisible, more portable. So it will displace, I believe, over the next 5,000 years, physical gold. It will become the base layer of money. You know, think about it. I don't know about you, but I don't carry money. I don't have cash ever. I use a little plastic card. And once a month, I settle up using ACH, an L3, down to the L2, fed wire, down to the base layer, gold. Now, I don't go to the central bank, but the bank does. Bank of America uses Visa, and I get to you know buy and sell things using not money, which is gold, but this transaction system. Now, the problem with it today, the Visa network sits on COBOL code. What is that? Not 70s very secure. Or something? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 70 year old technology, 50 year old technology, horrible, but it'd be too expensive to change it. Now we have this better technology, Bitcoin, blockchain. Bitcoin is just a blockchain. It is an application of blockchain technology. And blockchains are the new form of compute. So in the old days, we had mainframes that ran on COBOL and Fortran. Then we went to personal computers that run on DOS and Windows. Then we went to supercomputers in our hand that ran on iOS and Android. Now we will have blockchains, which run on these decentralized networks that become global compute. And the application of money into that global compute is the first great use case. Having Bitcoin is anticipated to take place later this month. However, a confluence of factors is likely to set the cryptocurrency's fourth such event apart from previous occurrences. Having, which is the process by which the rate at which Bitcoins are generated by the network, approximately every 10 minutes is cut in half, typically takes place after 210,000 Bitcoins have been mined, or roughly every four years. Halving is anticipated to take place this year around the 20th of April, although there are many who believe it could take place much earlier in the run-up to previous occasions when it has occurred. A new all-time high was reached by Bitcoin just before the current cycle's having event for the very first time. Analysts at Coinbase warned that the market may be placing an excessive amount of importance on price movements around having without taking into account the context of broader market conditions. Bitcoin has scaled new highs in the months that have followed the reduction in the rate of issuance of crypto assets. It is highly likely that the performance of Bitcoin during earlier events was reliant on the context, which may explain why price patterns during successive cycles have changed to such a great extent. For instance, they noted in a study that was published in March that they attribute some of the 45% increase that occurred prior to the second having in July 2016 to the uncertainties that were associated with Brexit, and they attribute the 73% gain that occurred prior to the third having in May 2020 to the pandemic era. Boom place for the initial selling of coins. According to Coinbase, exchange-traded funds representing Bitcoin have brought about a significant shift in the dynamics of the Bitcoin market, as these funds did not exist during the time period before to the current one. The products that started trading in January have experienced massive inflows, which have led to an increase in demand, and as a result, the price of Bitcoin, the approval of a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund, ETF, in the United States could significantly alter the supply and demand dynamics of Bitcoin, because it would result in flows that are approximately 57 times the daily new units of generated BTC.
This would result in a 21 shares report. The question is, how would this play out in the context of the having in a hypothetical scenario where the supply consisted of only newly minted Bitcoin coin and existing Bitcoin were not available to be traded? Here is what Coinbase has stated could occur if we assume that the rate of new inflows into the United States is the same as it is currently. Based exchange traded funds, ETFs, have slowed from $6 billion in February to say a steady state of $1 billion of net inflows per month. A simple mental model suggests that measured against until 13.5 QBTCM per month in a post having environment, the equilibrium price for Bitcoin should be closer to around $74,000, according to what they wrote. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So my dad, 85, about to be 86 years old, doesn't have an ATM card. Right. You're like, what do you mean? What do you mean he doesn't have an ATM? He's never used an ATM. He doesn't trust it. He wants to go into the physical bank branch and get money. I haven't been in a bank branch in years. I, I, why would anyone do that? So my one-year-old granddaughter will never have one of these. She will never have a leather wallet. She will never use paper money. She won't even know what it is. So, but here's the thing. What is money? Money is simply a ledger. Think about it. For thousands of years, there was no money. People had stuff. You had cows. I had chickens. We met at the market and we exchanged cows for chickens. Or maybe you came and worked on my gutter and I came and worked on your thatch roof. We exchanged. And then someone said, you know, bring in your cows and your chickens to market. It's bad for the roads and it's a hassle. And so how about, Mark, you mint some coins with cows on them. And Kelly, you mint some coins with chickens on them. And you bring the Sacco coins and you exchange the coins. And then you can cash in the coin for the thing. Okay. But then those bags got really heavy. And on the way, you could get robbed and they could take your coins and then they could go get cows and chickens. So they set up these banks that would you deposit your coins and they'd give you a paper record, a ledger. OK, but it was one sided. Bitcoin available to trade has been in decline since early 2020, a major shift from previous cycles, said Coinbase. Normally, a liquid supply is attributed to lost wallets and forgotten keys. But Coinbase analysts also mentioned the level of available Bitcoin supply has been trending lower over the last four years, and that's a departure from prior having cycles, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for Bitcoin, since that could mean investors with long-term positions and less inclination to sell with short-term price variations with more than $19 million Bitcoin in circulation, and the supply capped at $21 million, the halving is making mining harder and slashing incentives for miners in half. Typically, miners sell Bitcoin ahead of housings in anticipation of covering operational EA. The contrast between the predictable decline in the rate of issuance of Bitcoin and the uncertainty surrounding the possibility of the Federal Reserve of the United States cutting its benchmark interest rate is another important aspect that should be taken into consideration during the upcoming Hing event. Although the overall premise is that if the Federal Reserve reduces interest rates, returns on U.S. Treasury securities would decrease, which will make riskier assets like cryptocurrencies more appealing to investors. The surprisingly good economic data that has been released over the past few weeks has inflamed the debate regarding interest rates. Inflation could be revived if cuts are implemented too soon, while maintaining higher interest rates for an excessively lengthy period of time could bring the economy to the verge of a recession. Other central banks across the globe have already begun to adjust their monetary policy stance. The readiness of major central banks to decrease interest rates, despite solid economic growth, has likely contributed to an increase in market inflation expectations. In a research, the Digital Asset Management Grayscale explained that there is a possibility of increased inflation. It is possible that this is causing an increase in demand for alternate forms of value storage, such as physical gold. 